Alrighty then, we're back here with uh, episode 8, picking up right where we left off with episode 7. We just returned from our pretty hectic road trip where I reckon that we could have died. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't, so that's the main thing. And we've got a couple of supplies for that one, so we might just put some of those down. We've got a cooking pot of water. I'm just going to stick this over to the side for now. empty I believe, yep. Yeah. So we'll go outside and we'll put our empty cooking pot on the ground to collect the rain. Um, what else do we have on this? Okay. So those leather gloves got ruined in that attack. So we can pretty much put those in the bin. Oh, the ice cream is still fresh, but it's not melted. We almost totally forgot about our ice cream. So I quickly run upstairs. And that could be the last ice cream that we ever see, so I'm, I'm going to put, put it right in there. Now we've got four dirty bandages. So we should sort that out. Now, from my experience, the water usually goes off before the uh, electricity. So, we're going to need to make sure that we have access to water. We've already put down one water catcher up the top here, I do believe. Yes, and, but we haven't had any rain, so it hasn't filled up yet. When uh, we need to get a pipe wrench, so we don't have to do the bloody pipe wrench on that journey. Now, what did we get? A lot, a lot of videos. I'll just take these all to our main inventory for now. Transfer those inside. So, I guess we'll grab all of the VHS tapes that we grabbed. The survival magazine. Got the Pokemon cards. Got mm. the first aid. Empty notebook from the glue. Also got those leather strips. We'll place this empty bucket over the side here. Take the garbage bag and the electronics magazine. Also take that thread. And the angling magazine. Come back for the rest. So first steps first, we'll put all the books away. Add to our bit of the collection that we're getting going over here. I will also put the Pokemon cards along with the magazines in here. And this one over here has to call the VHS tapes. Estates we received on that little trip. One thing we are going to do now is we're going to bind a journal. One of the th one of the things that we have modded in that we're going to take advantage of. What we're going to do is we're going to try to transcribe to the journal. So thus far, all of our adventures that we've done are going to be recorded, so if we do get really unlucky and this character dies, we can pass on his legacy to someone else. 
It's one I like personally because I like my game to continue on beyond death. As a new character, we'll make a new story out of the new character and spawn in far away and you know, send him on a journey here. Looks like our bulletproof vest is wrecked or has a hole in it. So I inspect that. That yep, has a huge hole in it. So at the moment it's not protecting our lower torso too well. So we might have to work on some tailoring soon just to get our clothes up to spec where we can, I don't know, survive a couple more attacks and not be as vulnerable. Now our character's getting quite tired, so we might have a cigarette. Sewing stuff away here, real quick, and the glue. Um, also, put the digital watches away. I've got some comic books we need to put away. Uh, we also have a farming book that needs to go away. Some more Pokemon cards. Another magazine. Another VHS tape. And we've got another book. Oh, what are we? Wrong thing. Grab that. I want to put that in the bookcase. Thank you. Oh, those buttons can be so fidgety at times. Where did that book go? Oh, did we already put it in there? Okay. So we're still in quite a bit of pain, so we might have to duck in here and check where our painkillers are. There they are. Might have to take a painkiller or two to be able to go to sleep tonight, I think. Smashed out a couple of those. And we'll sleep for now. And we'll be waking up at some ungodly hour of the night, no doubt. Because we've totally destroyed our sleeping pattern. One of the harder things to maintain in this game, I find, for a decent sleep pattern. Okay, that was all good and cured. We don't need to worry about that injury anymore. But while well, it's this dark, what we'll do is we'll quickly grab one of these. And zoom out a bit. And we'll cut down just a couple of trees in the dark. So we know we're safe here on the island, so it's the best thing we can get away with activities like this, cutting down trees in the dark. And for now, as the trees cut down, saw a way to those logs. Still not really bright enough, so for now we'll just pick up as many logs as we can. I'll just move them over here so that we can at least 
see roughly where they are. So we've got one garbage bag on us. Do we have any more garbage bags in here? I'm not sure, but wait these ships while we're looking at them. Take care of our character's hunger needs. I do want to grab that for now. Because we've got a little bit of a job we need to do inside to alter the base a bit. So we're going to go upstairs for now. So as we said earlier, I think the rain is usually one of the first things that cuts out on us. So we're going to come out onto this balcony here. And we're going to destroy that railing, hopefully. Yes, perfect. We've now destroyed that railing. do is when I return that sledgehammer straight back to the car. Come to the garage and I'm pretty sure we had some garbage bags there. Do we not have any garbage bags spare? No, there's one of them. So we've got at least two garbage bags at the moment. No garbage bags there. Okay, so we've got two garbage bags. We need, definitely need some more garbage bags. So we'll stick those back in the car for now. Mm, we should probably, while we're here, quickly unload these magazines. Shotgun. Oh, there goes a, there goes a helicopter that just goes straight over the top of us. All we should probably do is uh, maybe hunker down inside. Now, seeing that the helicopter is out and about, Turn this radio on for now. So this is actually one of the first times I've had the health of events turned on. Let's just close these curtains. So we want a room that we're able to sit in, that we're afforded a little privacy. And it's going to be these two rooms in this case. in case the helicopter can see us through the windows. As we know we can sit just in there and not be spotted to this room here. It's definitely going to see us through the windows. It's going to speed up time with the tiniest of it. We should actually sit on the ground while we're doing this. So that we're resting. White fog. Cloudy spells. Very thick fog tomorrow. Right, unfortunately, yeah, it didn't look like the radio warned us about any activity from this helicopter. 
so what we'll do is we'll sit back down on the ground here. And speed up time until our character is recovered from his exertion. I'm going to have to go out and do just a slight primitive check. And make sure that when that helicopter flew over earlier, it didn't draw anything to our front gate. Which it didn't. Which is good. It's a bit weird seeing it fly over like that. So now that we've uh, used the sledgehammer upstairs, so I quickly pick up all these planks. Turn around and go back downstairs to grab our nails. I might grab those other two planks into our backpack. And what's going to happen is we're going to need to plumb that kitchen sink. So it's like the second square from the edge. So what we want to do is get our carpentry skills going again. We're just going to build like a slight little balcony bit around the side here. Just a little bit of a walkway there. Should hopefully be enough of a placement. And so the sink's like yeah, one square from the edge. So yes, yeah, so we should have a, a platform that's able to have a water collector that will then plumb to that sink. And we'll have then two sinks ready to go that can collect water for us. We don't have to worry when the water goes out. Now drop all of these planks in a pile at the nails tool. And place the wood axe here just beside it. Got those couple of magazines on us. Place those the other ones. Now, if I remember correctly, our bow was almost broken, which is correct. So what we'll do in that case is we'll just throw this one away. And from those trees we cut down earlier in the dark, we'll craft ourselves one fresh bow. Character's getting tired again. Um, we might actually take a slight nap and set our alarm for a wake up time of um, two o'clock.
I think four hours worth of rest should definitely accomplish that. Turn that alarm off. Ah, so now that it's still evening, or well, afternoon, leading into evening, the fog is cleared, which is even better. Alright, so we're going to have to go on a bit of a journey to go get some garbage bags, but we're not going to really do that right now. Uh, one thing we want to start planning for is we hope to live off all of that canned food that we had. So, what we want to do is we want to grab our fishing rod and fishing tackle. And why not? We'll make it, we'll make it look pretty. I'm going to come for a walk. Down through the trees here to our nice little pier. And what we're going to do is we're going to stand right here and we're going to do some fishing. Have a nice casual evening of fishing, I think. Get some of these fish into that indoor freezer that we've got so that we can at least start making some decent meals for our character. Uh, before it gets too hungry, I'm going to go get a drink. And I'll see what, what do we get there? Small catfish. Is that it? Just a small catfish. Wow, we've got one fish. Let's quickly start by filling up our water. Still evening. We want that back, not the peanut butter. So I think the best time is to fish between six and nine, if I'm correct. So we're about to hit that sweet spot. We'll use the blue tackle. So, so we're going to fish most of the evening away here. Get some food supplies under our belt. Big trail. Uh, medium bus, medium crappy, two shoes, two small catfish, couple of, quite a few small trout. That's a good fishing hole, I reckon. That's going to take care of our, fish, our food requirements for the foreseeable future. So, the evening is uh, that's a huge success in my eyes. Nice amount of fish to go into our freezer so that we've got meals. Which 
we're going to stop planning out our next couple of days, I feel. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to stick all of these beautiful fish that we just caught straight into the freezer. There's our big trout. Nice big 51 centimeter. We at least now know that we've got a lot of frozen fish. Let's turn the lights on in the kitchen. So now we've got, still got all of those frozen vegetables. Uh, at the moment we've got uh, this trout here and some onion slices so that might actually be our meal for tomorrow uh, I'm going to remove this bandage it's still lacerated but not a concern I'll bandage that up We're looking good on the skills front, in my eyes, I reckon we're looking yeah, pretty strong. A little bit more fitness, but our strength's doing really, really, really well. It's really carrying us at the moment. We should probably read some books like Farming, um, Metalworking and Tailoring. Those three at least would be good books to read and get out of the way. Uh, while I'm thinking of it, one thing we did do is on our road trip while we're up in this area, we did loot this building, this building, this building, this building, this building, this one, this one, and I'm pretty sure we did these four over here. We also know that we should leave a note and call this one Jeep with Fuel. As in the last episode we left a Jeep with uh, Fuel. Ready to go. We know that here we've got to come back for guns and lots of them. But as you can see, we did the big long drive down here. Probably a fair few places we could stop and check it out going back that way. We came down along this road here, ignoring these turn offs here. Pass the turn off back to Rosewood that we took originally. Pass our little gas station here, down our side road to home. And we cleared this road out the other day of all zombies, which we're going to do again very soon. But I think in our next episode, what we need to do is we most possibly need to do a looting of this area here. We come down this road here, and what we're going to do is go. Just discover this part of the map and I know that it leads into the residential area so we'll start at the top here which will get these bottom couple of houses and then we'll come down to the residential area that's over here somewhere and start looting and that would be tomorrow's mission which would be our next episode but for now I think that uh, we've had a very good day we haven't done too much, you know, overall, but we have survived and we are still here. We've got that balcony upstairs at least ready for a water barrel so that when we get two more garbage bags, I think we're two garbage bags short, but if we get two more garbage bags, we'll be putting a rain collector just out the back here so that we can get the kitchen sink running when the water goes off. 
Uh, we'll make utilization of this weight room later on to increase our fitness and strength, maybe. But I reckon we should almost let our character rest for the night. Wake up at a nice 10.30 in the morning. And yes, that will be this episode. And as always, until next time, we'll pick up right where we left off. And we'll see you then.